Today I want to show you my rules for trading psychology and discipline in trading, things you can do daily, things you have to think about to boost your mindset and have better trading results overall. So let's just dive right in. What's up traders, welcome back to Chiang Mai in Thailand. I've been here for a few days in this pretty cool hotel here in Chiang Mai. I'll maybe give you a quick tour after this video is over at the end. But the topic we'll cover today is regarding some rules for trading, some things you can do in terms of psychology and mindset. So to be more disciplined, to follow your plan better, to take better trades, to avoid over trading. I want to share with you seven rules. These work really well for me. You can apply them to your trading right away. You can use them for your trading plan to make better decision. So let's go with the first one. The first rule I have, and this is more like a mindset thing, like any of these rules here in this video. There is no losing and there is no winning in trading. Now, people would love to tell you, oh, you win on this trade, you lose on this trade, you lose it because you lose here, you win it because you win here. But this conception shouldn't exist in trading. These are things that if you see the, if you see trading this way of losing and winning, then they will have an impact on your mindset. They will make you feel good when you win and make you feel bad when you lose because you're a loser, you're a winner. These are words that are very really packed with emotion when it comes to psychology. Generally, the people in trading don't want to lose money. They want to be able to prove that they are good. They want to build their self-worth. But how can you build self-worth if you lose half the time? That's very difficult. So there's no winning or losing. It's only your plan you're doing in the market. And then your plan or strategy takes trades that either make money or don't make money. But it's not about winning or losing. It's a different thing. So take these concepts of losing and winning, throw them out the window, and you'll be better off as a trader by just following your plan and letting that plan do its work in the market. My second rule is contrary to the very popular belief that says you can't go broke taking profit. Now, I would say you can go broke taking profits. That's a rule that I think misleads a lot of traders. They think that because they have a profit in the market, they should just take it right away and then they end up losing money over time. And why is that? They say, oh, you can't go broke taking profits. I'm just selling profits over time, these small profits, and I don't want to take a loss. That might work out on a couple of trades, but over time you have losses that are bigger and then they just eat all your small profits you've taken. It's impossible in trading for anyone to not take a loss. It's not going to work long term. What you need to do is have wins that are big enough to cover these losses you'll have over time and then make a profit on top of that. So you can go broke taking small profits. You need to be able to have bigger targets and respect these targets so that you're not losing over time over the long run. Very important. Before I do this third rule, let me show you here on the room in this hotel in Chiang Mai. All right, so here's what the room looks like in this Mirzin Hotel in Chiang Mai. Have a look. All right, so here is the entrance. I'm walking in from the door that is over here. Pretty normal. We enter in the room here. It's a suite, so they have a one bedroom. Uh, here we have a sofa that can also be a bed. Totally fun. Dining table. My desk is over here. You see my second screen is here. I didn't put my laptop because I just came back from outside, so it's not there yet. But the view here is pretty cool. They have the other room on the other side facing the mountain. This side is more of the city center. Actually, not the city center, it's not a big city here. But you can still see the mountain here at the back. That gives you a pretty cool view of the city of Chiang Mai. Okay, we've got here our TV or a small place here with coffee and things like that. Very basic. Here we have the bedroom, the sofa around here with the view again, big windows. I love that. That's really cool when you want to work. And here we get to our bathroom. Bathroom has a full big bathtub that is very square with the nice view outside. That's pretty cool. Here is the shower. They wrote my name here on the mirror for, for fun, I guess. Pretty cool. And yeah, uh, then we've got a, a quick and small walk in here. Put your things, put your suitcase, your bag and stuff. Laundry, I guess. And here's the bathroom. Overall, pretty cool room. I think this is the nicest one here in this hotel. Uh, very nice to be here. You have space to work, you have space to eat. And yeah, that's pretty good. All right, let's get back to the video on the rules for psychology and discipline. All right, we are back. Let's dive into this third rule of psychology and mindset and trading. The third rule is respecting the law of averages. Now this is a tricky one and most people will say, well, no, I'm, I want to be a good trader, I want to be able to predict the market, but that cannot work long term, like we said before. This rule is about respecting the law of averages, which means that this is a concept I heard from Jim Rohn. Now I'm sure there's people before Jim Rohn who explained this concept really well, but this is the best explanation I've had so far. You need to let the numbers in trading play out, which means that you cannot 
look at your performance over 10 trades, over even like 20 trades. It needs time to create an average, show you a performance in the market. So a trader who takes five trades with a strategy and then jump to another one because he thinks it can be better, is not playing with the law of averages. This law sort of also states that you might have a lower win rate at first. You might be hitting only 30% at first. 30% of your trades are gonna be winners, but you can still make money by doing it over time. And then as this moves forward, you might be able to increase your win rate a little bit to 30 to then 40%. So four out of 10 trades you win. Then you might be able to increase it a little bit more over time by making your strategy better, making your plan better, and making your plan and strategy better. Now you don't have to hit the 90% to win. You can only hit the 30, 40, 50% or 60% to win. You don't have to go that high. Now in trading, it's a bit more complex because you gotta look at your reward to risk. You gotta look at how much you win per trade compared to your losses. That's a different aspect, but don't try to make your plan perfect from day one. Don't try to make a strategy perfect, taking like 90% of the trades or making 100% per year from day one. It takes time to make a strategy better. It takes time to improve your habits. It takes a lot of time to work on these things and to have better results in trading. So from day one, work on something average. Pick a strategy that's gonna be average. It's gonna give you maybe 1%, 2% a month. Then just do that and find ways to improve it over time. If you don't look for a home run, you don't look for a perfect holy grail strategy, you have something that works in the market and you'll be able to improve it over time and find better and better edge in the market. But you need to start there and stop this strategy jumping to get decent results. So that's my interpretation of the law of averages. Okay, the fourth rule is kind of a tricky one and something you can also flip in a good aspect in terms of your mindset. Now that rule is you're not losing money. Let me explain this because that's pretty cool. I heard this from Jeremy Newsom from Real Life Trading. He says every time he has a loss in the market, he's not seeing it as a loss of his money. He's not seeing it as losing money per se, but he's seeing it as giving money to someone else in the market, giving money to another trader. Someone maybe he knows, someone who's also trading that day, someone who had a better edge that time in the market. He's giving money to that person. Now, when you give money to someone for like a birthday or something, you usually feel good about it. You feel like, oh, I'm, I'm doing a good act. You feel better about yourself. But how can we implement this to trading? How can we feel good when we lose in the market? So picture this whenever you have a loss in the market. Picture it as, oh, you know, today I'm giving money to this trader, Al Brooks. Oh, today I'm giving money to this new trader, John, who's just selling in the market. And then you feel better about yourself. You're not losing money. You're just giving it to someone else. And maybe the next day or a few days later, you'll take it back or someone else will give you money to you. And that's how trading works. It's just a different way of seeing it compared to seeing it as a loss. You've lost money in the market. You're, you're dumb, you're bad, you're a bad trader. You see it as you're giving money to someone else and you get it back at some other ways later. And probably you'll get back even more. So try that mindset shift and let me know in the comment below how you feel about it. Okay, I think we're getting here to the fifth rule of psychology and discipline in trading. So this is a good one. Know the risk on every trade. The thing that takes a long time to master in trading is that every single trade you take can be a loser. Now, most people don't, don't want to accept that. They want to be right in their trades. They want to take a trade in the market, have it go to the take profits really quickly. They want to pick the right trades. But every trade you take in the market could be a loser because you never know who's going to do what in the market. Who's going to wake up one day and say, oh, I want to short the euro USD today. Then they're going to short. You're going to be stepped out by them. You never know what's going to happen. And based on the law of averages, which we talked about before, where you have a ratio that will appear on a large number of trades, we need to expect that most of them in the beginning might be losers. You might be giving some money away on these first trades and you cannot do anything about it. So every trade you take, you should accept the risk. This trade you have a stop loss is gonna be, let's say, 50 pips, and that's gonna be $200 on your account. You need to be able to accept that you can lose this $200, but not just that, you can also lose it five times and six times. And if you're not comfortable with this, then you shouldn't be trading yet, or you should be trading with very small risk on a very small account, or maybe even demo. If you cannot accept to lose in the market, you shouldn't be trading, and you gotta work on your mindset more, because to make money, you need to lose money in the market, and that's just how it works. Rule number six, now I need to be able to warn you on this one because that's something that took me a long time to learn. Plus for a very long time, I did this myself a lot. And that is never trade to feel better. Now, how many times did I go on my charts? Did I go to open up my platform to trade? Because I want to feel better. Because I wanted to prove other people I was right in trading. Because I want to take trades to build my account and have a better lifestyle. That happened a lot in my early years of trading. Many, many times. Now trying to feel better or to avoid some emotions or to just get better results never work. You're always going to sit down, play some trades, you might have a couple of winners, but then you have a couple of losers and you'll feel bad about yourself again more. And that's never a good way to do things. It could also be that you had a couple of losses and then you want to feel better about yourself. You want to go back on track. You want to end the day or the week or the month positive. So you take more trades. Same thing, you trade to feel better. Now you don't want to ever do this because the fact that, like I said, you're never going to get out of it positive and that's an issue of course. 
but also you train yourself to have emotions and that's a very good thing of course good trading is never based on emotions it's always based on logic and good thinking and having a solid plan and respecting that plan over time so that for me is a very crucial rule my seventh rule of psychology and discipline this is a good one also that helped me a lot in the past also goes in line with never trade to feel better but that is when nothing works step away now how many times did i sit at my desk trying to play some trades i would lose a couple of trades i would try to get back on track or take some more trades again to be able to have a positive day or at least a break-even day and then i would not make anything work it would be worse in results of that i would just be like really stressed out in these trades because i want to make it work so bad and then i'm stressed i close the trades too early it takes more profits which we discussed is not good of course so the rule is when nothing works just step away close your charts go take a walk go enjoy go have fun go even maybe have a beer if you want whatever works for you is fine the key is you don't want to be trading when nothing works in the market you don't want to be at your chart you don't want to be looking at the market don't want to be placing trades you don't want to be forcing things when nothing works sometimes you step away you go have a walk in your city or something you go do something different and then you have a good idea that you can implement to trading after or you have a good thought or you meet someone or you do something else that could impact your trading better in the future now this is much better than being at your desk being frustrated and taking trades that don't make any sense plus losing more and more and more money over time you don't want to build the habit of placing trades because you want to feel better of course which is part of the sixth rule we discuss i mean these are rules that help me a lot for my own trading you can implement them to your trading as well in your plan if you want add them to your trading plan make a list of them i'll recap here quickly for you there's no losing or winning in trading you can go broke taking profits respect the law of averages a big one you're never losing money you're giving it away to someone else very big mindset shift it's a gift not a loss no risk of every trade never trade to feel better big one and when nothing works step away go do something else have a different perspective when you come back let me know in the comment section below which of these rules you will implement i want to hear your thoughts of course if you like this video give it a thumbs up that would mean a lot to me also subscribe if it's not done yet i publish three videos like this every week so that you can learn some more tips for trading, have more support, learn some strategies also, and see an interview with share around the world every single week on Sundays. I'll have a good one this coming Sunday, so make sure you subscribe and turn the bell next to the subscribe button for this. And I'll catch you back here in the next video pretty soon. Ciao.